In the fascinating world of poultry farming, every breeder, from the backyard enthusiast to the small-scale producer, shares a single aspiration – to find the ideal bird. A bird that not only thrives in its environment, but also offers the most desired benefits. However, this quest often leads to a dilemma. Should we prioritize the rapid growth and productive efficiency of commercial lines, or the hardiness, superior flavor, and adaptability of more rustic breeds? This is the starting point of our exploration, a challenge many face when considering poultry meat production. The industry has made impressive strides with commercial lines like the Ross and Cobb broiler chickens. These animals are true growth machines, genetically designed to reach market weight in record time with exceptionally efficient feed conversion. They are the undisputed champions of mass production, offering an economical and quick solution to meet the large-scale demand for chicken meat. Their impact on global food availability is undeniable, marking a before and after in how we consume chicken. Nevertheless, this extreme specialization has its drawbacks. Ross and Cobb chickens, while efficient, often sacrifice hardiness and adaptability to less controlled environments. They tend to be less active, more prone to health issues in backyard conditions, and their meat, though plentiful, can lack the distinctive texture and flavor that many consumers and artisanal breeders seek. For those who value sustainability, animal welfare, and a superior gastronomic experience, these pure broiler lines may not be the definitive solution. This is where breeds like the Sasso or the Cornish come into play, representing the other end of the poultry spectrum. These birds, with their genetics for resilience, their foraging ability, and exceptionally high-quality meat, offer an appealing alternative. While their growth is slower, their adaptability to rustic environments and their robustness make them ideal candidates for those who seek a more natural approach and meet with a deeper flavor profile. The question then isn't which is better, but how we can unite the best of both worlds. And if you like this video, support us with a like and a comment. This helps the content reach more people and allows our community to continue growing. If you're not yet part of this family, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to see our next videos. Now that we understand the main players, it's time to delve into the most exciting part – the theory behind the practice. While the Ross or Cobb rooster is the engine of growth, the mother of the clutch is the true source of genetic hardiness and adaptability. Her ability to pass on a strong immune system and a robust temperament is a decisive factor. The question is, who gives us the best result? The Ross Cobb male or the rustic breed male? To answer this question, let's use our imagination for the first visual exercise a cross between a cob male and a sasso female. The cob male, with his explosive growth genetics, will serve as an excellent father, ensuring that the offspring grow quickly. But the true secret of this cross lies with the sasso mother. She will transfer her incredible hardiness, strong bones, and well-developed immune system to the entire clutch. The result is a chicken that, while not reaching the cob's size in 45 days, will reach an excellent weight in a reasonable amount of time with enviable health. Now. Let's imagine the opposite cross, a sasso male with a cob female. In this case, the father will contribute his genetic strength and good temperament, but the offspring will have to deal with the mother's cob genetics. Although the cob mother has excellent reproductive capacity, her biology isn't designed for the long term or for foraging, which can result in offspring that are less adaptable to a backyard environment. The growth rate could be slower and the mortality higher, as they would not benefit from the sasso mother's genetics. This first exercise teaches us a fundamental lesson. If you're looking for a fast-growing broiler chicken with the hardiness of a backyard animal, the best strategy is to use the fast-growing father, Cobb, and the rustic breed mother, Sasso. This combination is the most promising for an animal that not only fattens well, but also lives and thrives in a natural environment. To understand why the results of the cross are so dramatic, we must delve into the genetic specialization of each breed. Commercial broiler chickens like the Ross and Cobb are the result of decades of intensive selection. Their genetics are programmed to convert feed into breast muscle at an astonishing speed. Their efficiency, measured by feed conversion, is the highest in the industry, which makes them ideal for production on industrial farms but makes them vulnerable in other environments. At the other extreme, we have rustic breeds like the Sasso and the Cornish. These chickens have not been selected for record-breaking growth but for survival. Their genetics focus on robustness, health, and foraging ability. These birds have strong immune systems, compact bones, and a body structure that allows them to live longer and resist diseases better. Their meat, though less abundant in the breast, has a superior flavor and a firmer texture, 
characteristics that come directly from their more active lifestyle. The key to our exploration is to understand how the combination of these two seemingly opposite genetic backgrounds can generate a superior result. It's not about creating a chicken that is half of one and half of the other, but about taking advantage of the phenomenon of hybridization and hybrid vigor. The resulting F1 hybrid will often outperform both parents in certain aspects, taking the best from each. With the theory in mind, it's time for our second example, this time with the Cornish. It's a breed especially valued for the quality of its meat. What happens when we cross it? Imagine an ideal cross, a Ross male with a Cornish female. The Cornish mother, with her strong bone genetics and muscular body, will lay the foundation for the hybrid's physical structure. The Ross, in turn, will contribute its growth speed. The result will be a chicken that grows very fast and has excellent muscle mass, but with a stronger skeletal structure than that of a pure broiler. In addition, the offspring will have the firm, flavorful meat that the Cornish is famous for, unlike the soft, watery muscle of commercial chickens. Now, consider the reverse cross, a Cornish male with a Ross female. Although the Cornish male is an excellent breeder, the Ross mother cannot transfer the same hardiness and strength as a Cornish female. The resulting hybrid will likely grow slower than in the previous cross, and could inherit the mother's weaknesses in terms of bone structure and general health. This chicken would not be the most efficient or healthiest option for the backyard environment. The choice of the mother is the most important decision you can make. Rustic breeds, like the Sasso and the Cornish, are exceptional mothers who pass on to their offspring what commercial breeds have lost. The ability to thrive in a natural environment without the help of highly controlled nutrition or surroundings. A well-planned cross can give you a chicken with fast growth and superior flavor. Aside from the pursuit of speed, some breeders seek the perfect combination of hardiness, health, and exceptional meat quality. In this scenario, the cross between a Cornish male and a Sasso female produces offspring that are, in essence, a premium hybrid for the niche market. The Cornish male, with its compact muscle genetics and robust body, ensures that the offspring have an excellent muscular structure. The Sasso female, for her part, contributes her legendary vitality, foraging ability, and steady but moderate growth. The result is a chicken that grows slower than hybrids with Ross or Cobb, but with unparalleled meat texture and an almost unbreakable resistance to disease. On the other hand, the cross of a Sasso male with a Cornish female leads to a very similar result. Both parents are rustic animals with genetics for survival and quality, so their offspring inherit the best of two resilient worlds. The difference in the final result between this cross and the previous one is minimal in terms of productivity and characteristics, confirming that when you cross two rustic breeds, you will always get a bird of great quality and robustness. This type of cross is ideal for those who seek a chicken that thrives in a 100% natural environment, regardless of the time it takes to reach its optimal weight. Although our main goal is to combine the best of rustic and commercial genetics, it's essential to understand what happens when you cross two of the most well-known broiler lines, the Cobb and the Ross. In this case, the result is an F1 hybrid chicken with extraordinary hybrid vigor. The offspring of a Cobb male and a Ross female, or vice versa, will be a bird with even more explosive growth than their purebred parents. This type of cross is not designed to increase hardiness or meat quality, as both broiler lines have similar genetics aimed at mass production. Instead, its purpose is to maximize efficiency and growth rate. The main characteristic of these hybrids is their ability to convert feed into muscle at an almost unimaginable speed. However, they also inherit the same limitations in health and adaptability, which is why they are not the best option for a backyard environment. It's an ideal reference point to compare the difference with our dual-purpose hybrids. When we talk about commercial broiler chickens like the Ross or the Cobb, it's a mistake to think of them as a single, uniform breed. In reality, they are genetic lines with specific varieties, each selected for decades to fulfill a unique purpose. Just as a farmer chooses the tomato variety best suited for their climate, a backyard breeder should know which genetic line of Ross or Cobb is best for their crossbreeding project. This decision is fundamental, as the success of your F1 hybrid will depend directly on the characteristics it inherits from the commercial father. Within the Cobb family, the most popular and versatile variety is the Cobb 500. This hybrid is a true workhorse, known worldwide for its balanced growth and excellent feed conversion. Its genetics are not as specialized in breast meat production as other lines, which gives it greater resilience and adaptability. For these reasons, the Cobb 500 is a fantastic option for a backyard cross. Its offspring will receive an inheritance of fast growth and efficiency, 
but with less risk of health problems associated with overly extreme development. For its part, the Ross 308 line is another industry giant and the preferred choice of many producers. Like the Cobb 500, the Ross 308 stands out for its fast growth and enviable efficiency, but it has been selected for a slightly different body conformation, with a focus on overall muscle mass. Its offspring will inherit that explosive growth capacity and outstanding meat yield, making it a solid and reliable base for any cross that seeks to combine speed and quality in the final product. Although both the Cobb and the Ross are viable options, the Cobb 500 and Ross 308 varieties are the most recommended for this type of project. Their balance between growth and robustness makes them the ideal starting point for a dual-purpose hybrid. Avoiding the most specialized lines, designed for controlled industrial environments, will ensure you get a hybrid that not only grows fast but also thrives on your farm, fulfilling the goal of creating a healthy and productive animal. When you embark on this project, the first and biggest challenge is to prepare commercial broiler chickens for reproduction. Unlike rustic breed chickens, Ross and Cobb chickens have not been selected for fertility or mating but for rapid growth. Their biology is programmed to fatten, not to be parents. Therefore, your success will depend on your ability to counteract that programming and raise them for a single purpose, to become fertile and healthy roosters. The selection process begins from day one. From the batch of chicks, you must choose the smallest ones. While it may seem contradictory, the largest Ross and Cobb chickens have the most aggressive growth genetics, which could lead to health and mobility problems in adulthood, preventing them from being able to mate. Conversely, those that show a slightly slower growth have more balanced genetics that will make them more robust and adaptable in the long run. Once selected, the next step is the diet, and it must be strictly controlled. These chickens should not be fed a fast-growth diet or on demand. You must provide them with a low-calorie diet rich in essential vitamins and minerals for proper bone and muscle development. This is vital to prevent them from growing at such an accelerated rate that their legs and skeleton cannot support their weight, which would make them unable to mount the hens effectively. Finally, the breeding of these males and females should be in an environment that promotes physical activity. A large space where they can walk, forage, and develop muscle naturally is essential. As they grow, you will see how their bodies adapt to the activity, becoming leaner and more athletic. With the right selection and meticulous raising, you will transform a broiler chicken into a fertile rooster or hen, ready to be the father or mother of a new generation of high-performance hybrids. If this passion for crossbreeding and genetics excites you as much as it does me, I invite you to continue exploring this world on our new channel, Farm Animals. There, we apply the same logic of hybrid vigor to other animals, from crosses of ducks and goats to cows, always seeking maximum productivity. The link to join this community is below, in the description. We are waiting for you. Now that we have explored the science behind the first generation cross, it's natural to wonder, what happens if you cross two of these F1 hybrid chickens? It's a question many breeders ask, hoping to perpetuate the characteristics of their dual-purpose birds. However, in the world of genetics, the answer to this question is clear and, often, surprising. The F2 generation is a Pandora's box. The secret behind the performance of your F1 hybrid is hybrid vigor. This phenomenon is manifested only in the first generation, the direct offspring of two pure and distinct genetic lines. When you cross two of these F1 hybrids, the vigor disperses, and the characteristics of the grandparents reappear unpredictably. The offspring of the F2 generation will have such a wide genetic variability that you will see everything from chickens that resemble their Ross or Cobb grandparents to chickens that look like a messy version of the rustic breeds, and some that won't resemble anyone. This lack of uniformity translates directly into production. The F2 generation chicks will not only lose the accelerated growth of their parents, but will also show great inconsistency in their development. Some will grow fast, others very slowly. Some will be healthy, while others will inherit the health problems of the broiler lines. This makes the F2 generation unreliable for meat production or for reproduction as the results are completely unpredictable. The lesson here is fundamental to the success of your project. The goal of creating the F1 hybrid chicken is for consumption, not for reproduction. If you want to continue producing dual-purpose chickens with the characteristics you like so much, the only way to do it is by repeating the original cross, always using the purebred parents and not the hybrid offspring. In this way, every time you do it, the hybrid vigor will be renewed, and you will ensure a consistent, predictable, and high-quality result. We have reached the end of our exploration, and what we have discovered is that the search for the perfect chicken is not a fantasy, but an achievable goal through knowledge of poultry genetics. 
You now know that success begins with a strategic decision. Selecting the right genetic line of broiler chickens like the Cobb 500 or the Ross 308. You learn that, with proper breeding and feeding, these chickens can be transformed into fertile breeders. We also discovered that each cross has a purpose. A hybrid of maximum efficiency born from the cross between a Cobb and a Ross is not the same as a hybrid of supreme quality coming from rustic breeds like the Cornish and the Sasso. This knowledge gives you the power to choose the animal that best suits your needs. And, most importantly, you learn the lesson of the F2 generation, that the excellence of the hybrid is unique and is renewed with each cross. With all this knowledge in your hands, you are no longer just a breeder, but a genetic architect. You have the tools to create the chicken of your dreams, perfectly adapted to your environment and your goals, whether they are speed, quality, or a balance between both. We invite you to join us on this journey. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video where we will explore more poultry secrets. To your success, my fellow breeder, until next time!